Hello and welcome guys, this is Jason700 and today I'm going to be showing you Dead Island Epidemic. Uh, this is a game that is currently in closed beta. Um, it was quite recently, I mean it was about two months ago when it closed beta, I think. Sorry about that. Um, I will also be doing a giveaway of some keys later on this week. Um, the draw will be next Friday, but there'll be another video about that. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the PvE and just the main bit of the game. And then in the next video, I'll show you the PvP. And then, yeah, that'll be it. Um, so basically, this is kind of like a MOBA, but they've called it a Zomba because it's kind of like there's you. Uh, obviously, like the characters, like as you can see here, Mutated Berg, these sort of uh, one, one tar, I think that's how you say it. Um, and um, there's zombies, and then if you're playing PvP, there's obviously the other side, so the other team you're versing. But if you're PvE, then it's obviously just you, and then the zombies. Um, but yeah, it's quite a nice test on it. I mean, I played probably about four or five matches of the PvP, and but that was quite a while ago. Um, but yeah, it's very fun. Um, there's also like these super mobs, like uh, what they called hoarders and stuff like that, which have more powerful and they drop better like supplies and all the explained is it's kind of hard to explain um so quickly i'll just go over the ui and everything so up here you have the home which is this where it shows you your characters you can click on them it shows you a summary shows you their abilities what you have locked so these are like their they affect this main ability and you unlock them after you level up the equipment you've kind of got attached to them the attributes, so their life, their melee proficiency, range proficiency, block, weapons, etc. Description of what they are, so like their combat roles, durable, healer, and support. Progression, so it shows you what you unlock and when you unlock it. And it also shows you the experience bar and what level they are. This is the same for all three characters. Um, but there obviously is more characters, so that's just th showing through them. I'm not quite sure if you can change them. Um, so then's your inventory, so weapons. So this, these are all the weapons. I have um, it's quite, quite a few funny ones here, and uh, the shield shows you what tier they are. So depending on your depending on your level, depends on what tier you can use. Obviously, the higher tier, the better the weapon is. Um, and also, you can get different rarities of weapons, which obviously have better things on them. So you can obviously get a green, uh, you know, blue, orange, and purple. I think I may be completely wrong, but obviously you can see these ones are green, blue. Don't think I have anything high. Yeah, I don't think they're either blue. Okay, so this is the workbench where you can rate weapons. So I'm going through this a bit fast, and if you need me to clarify on anything I've said, just ask in the description. I'll try and explain it as best as I can. Uh, but it's, it it sounds a lot more confusing than it is. Once you start playing it, it it's pretty normal, I guess. Um, so this is a weapon that I can create. So um, say I want to create this. It obviously shows max level three. Uh, so craft, it shows you what you need to create it, so you need 15 duct tape and 3 cloth scrap. These can be bought, or you can get them from playing games. Each game, depending on where you came and how you did, you'll get uh, prizes, but you'll get them regardless of whether you won or not, or even if you've done terrible, you'll still get like a condolence award, I guess you could say. Um, but obviously, if I can try and find something... Uh, obviously you can see here, it's no cost, I could just craft it and it would use these materials. However, if I find something like, yeah, see these, these have um, a money cost on them because I don't have the necessary parts to create it. So if you do have enough money but you don't have the parts, you can always just like craft it with money because it will buy the parts for you. Um, so that's pretty much it for the UI. Actually, no, wait, wait, uh... Yeah, the store. I haven't gone over the store. Okay, right. The store is basically where you can buy characters, weapons, blueprints, and consumables. There's services, but I'm guessing this can be like the, uh, the actual paid for thing. But obviously that's not implemented yet because it's in closed beta. And also do remember that this isn't going to represent what the final version is. This could be completely different by the time the game actually comes out. Um, so these are all your characters, uh, and these can be unlocked with, are they called character points? Yeah, they're called character points. Just making sure. Um, yeah, you get these from, okay, printer, just, just add your random disconnect. <laughs> Don't know if you heard that. Um, okay, so yeah, these can be bought with uh, character points, which you do get after playing games. And obviously, 
by the characters. You have the character. It's pretty self-explanatory for that bit. Um, there are no items in the Get Weapons character, and no items in the Get Blueprints. So I guess that'll be updated. I don't know whether that'll be paid for or whether you can just use coins. But I guess you'll find out for a later date. And then Workbench, obviously Workbench. And Characters just shows all your owned characters. Yeah. Shows all the owned characters. And then... The final thing is your profile, which shows everything about you, so your level, how much experience to your next level, the leaderboards, which shows like where I am in relation to other people in Zombies Killed, uh, match history, silver medal, match duration, death zero, Zombies Killed 99, level reach 10. Oh. Okay, then it shows total achievements, bunch of achievements here. <laughs> Um, and then this shows your stats, total missions, total five missions, zombies killed, players slain, 61, and progression, and then, yeah. That's pretty much everything on the UI side of things.